So with the way things are shaping up for Metroid Dread right now, it's very likely that it'll outsell every game in the series, meaning we can expect to see a lot more games in the future, and that actually got me thinking. See, a while back it was revealed that Mercury Steam, the people who made Samus Returns and who are currently developing the previously mentioned Metroid Dread, wanted to do a remake of Fusion, but was instead asked to do that for Metroid 2. So the question I ended up asking myself was if in the future Fusion were to be remade, what would I like to see changed or added? With it being one of my favorite games I've ever played, I actually had a lot of fun thinking about this. So without further ado, this is what I'd like to see in a remake of Metroid Fusion. Okay, so this cannot be changed, and that would be fine. But I'm gonna be honest here, the very suit's color in Fusion is just ugly in my opinion. I know why it's not its usual orange color, it's because of the Omega suit you get at the end of the game, which does make sense, but could we not pick a different shade of green or yellow for it? It's really not that big of a deal, which is exactly why I opened with this, but I would appreciate it if it did get changed. Cause I love how the fusion suit looks, and I love how the gravity suit looks, those both look really nice, I love the colors there. It's just with the Varya suit, I have no idea what they were thinking with that color choice. One of the things that the Prime series did that I really loved was the addition of the scan visor allowing you to see the lore of this world and the biology of its creatures. And I think given the fact that Metroid Fusion does take place on a research station, it would make sense if there was some sort of database the scientists had for the creatures they were researching. Honestly, I'd love to know more about creatures like Zazabi, that guy is still really weird looking for me, and whatever the deal with security robot box was and why there was a frickin' brain in that thing. Like seriously, what was even the deal with that? Is this like a robot with an Aurora unit, or what? Unlock these entries, I'm thinking possibly one of two ways. One, you either unlock them as you beat enemies, or two, it could be a side collectible you find. Tell me what you would like for it to be in a comment down below. Really though, I feel adding something like this to the game would be the perfect opportunity to expand more on this world and these creatures, even if it's something as simple as telling us a little bit about the universe, and maybe even explain what the in-universe design process for Nightmare was. Up until Metroid Fusion, the content of Samus' character was shown through her actions. It was in even the littlest bits of story details that we got who Samus is as a person. But in Fusion, the guys at Nintendo tried their hand at giving Samus actual dialogue in the game to convey more of her character, since it's more story-focused compared to previous entries. And especially after Other M's less than stellar portrayal of Samus's voice, pierced my heart. I think it's time we gave Samus another shot at having a voice actress. A lot of the dialogue Samus gets in the game involves her talking about her past with Adam and how he compares to Computer Adam. And given the context for some of these scenes, I think they would be even better if there was a voice connected to it. Maybe bring Jennifer Hale on for it. I mean, she did a wonderful job as Commander Shepard, so I think she'd fit Samus pretty well. Those of you watching this right now who don't know much about Other M's story are probably confused why I'm bringing it up here. The reason is because Other M's story ties in very heavily with Fusion, as it's the backstory for how Adam died. Over the years, though, there has been some debate on whether or not Other M's story is actually canon at this point. Some people bring up points on the little things, like how Samus is for some reason shorter in this game than she is in any other game in the series. Then there are bigger things people bring up, like how in Other M they tried to weaponize the Metroids and they removed their weakness to the cold, yet for whatever reason, the Metroids in Fusion still have the same weakness, and in regards to how characters are portrayed. And that's my big thing here. With this remake, given that Fusion takes place after Other M, it's time we finally settled this and we confirm whether or not Other M is actually canon. Maybe when Computer Adam brings up the topic of Nightmare, Samus makes a remark about how she saw it on the bottle ship, and it's weird that it's here, or after Sector Zero blows up, she mentions to Adam how this is the second time they tried to weaponize the Metroids. Honestly, I would prefer it to not be canon, just because I would love for the backstory for how Adam died to not be stupid and contrived. But hey, that's my thoughts on the matter, and I'd love to hear your opinions on it as well. And hey, what are your thoughts about the other points I brought up in this video? What would you like to see in a Fusion remake? Leave a comment about that down below as well, and hey, if you like this video, leave a like and maybe subscribe while you're at it. I'll try and do more stuff like this in the future. Thanks for watching, and I hope you all have a nice day.